I've known Cephas for many years and he has been preaching to me about drinking aloe. I am diabetic and I used to have a huge stomach. And uh, after a while he had convinced me to start drinking aloe. After I started drinking aloe, I noticed that my stomach is not as puffy as it used to be. My blood sugar has been regulated properly and I'm off my uh, diabetic medicine. I used to take Januvia every day. My, my uh, blood sugar used to probably run about average 250 every day. And now it's uh, down in the normal range between uh, 101 and 125. The reason I started drinking aloe vera is because um, I went to my doctor and my blood sugar, my, if you're familiar with diabetes, my A1C was uh, real high. I had like a 10 and uh, I had 314 uh, uh, points. That's what they told me. And once I started drinking this about six months ago, my diabetes is gone. I don't have it anymore. I've been having high blood pressure <clears throat> for years and that's normal now. So everybody see I'm working on the learn, on the campaign of home doctor. That's what God put on the earth for human being, aloe vera, natural stuff. You drink it, Bongo. you can ease a lot of pain and ache for your body. First time I taste it, i like, man, it's kind of tough to go down. But sometimes that's the best thing for you. It's the hardest things to right. do. And so he said, if you stick with it, Trust me, you're going to feel better. At first, it's going to take a while. Everybody's body's different. And you're going to start feeling your bowels moving, whole night you all start burping. And I swear to you, at first, it took about three, four days. Right. I'm like, man, I started to give up on that. I'm like, nah, oh, man, I ain't feeling nothing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what aloe might cause in my body. But that fifth day, I was at work. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm like, I got to go. And honest to God, I have felt a lot better. A lot more energetic. Wake up in the morning, a lot more, mm -hmm. especially, and then discreeting waste, just like you was telling me about. You have waste build up, and much as you eat, you should be secreting. Right. It, it goes, it's common sense mm -hmm. if you think about right. it, and so forth. And he's right. You know, I start doing my own little research and everything. You see what I'm saying? It makes all the sense in the world. Well, those of you that that can open your mind to to uh, to try something different, maybe a little unorthodox, uh, certainly. Uh, Cephas is a, is a wealth of information. He's a he's he's a he's a man who's who's studied his craft and his trade and, and really knows what he's talking about. If you listen to what he has to say, it'll make sense to you. What is the three most dangerous thing in your house, away from you, your wife, or your kid? What, what is what, it? What are they? They are your fridge, your stove, and your dinner table. Is what you put in your fridge? Is what you put on your stove? And it's what you put on your dinner table. If you don't put the right thing on it, it will ruin you. And that's what it, it do to a lot of people, especially in America. You look, the kid who born between 1975 to 05, he's 80 to 100 pounds heavier. And the kid who born between 1975 to 1980 to, to 2005. So what recommendations do you have for young people uh, uh, to modify their weight <laughs> and their food intake? Should aloe vera be a part of their uh their, Aloe vera uh, should be part of everybody diet. Every morning you wake up, everybody should drink at least three cups of aloe vera. For the first thing when you get hungry, is the food rotten in your body and blow your body up like a balloon for you to take in food. I only eat one meal a day. I wake up in the morning and I drink three cups of aloe. What that aloe is going inside my body and it recycles my old food. Once it recycles my old food, I belch, I don't feel hungry. That means I don't eat again until at least two o'clock. I drink a cup of ginger tea. Ginger tea is very important for your body. For ginger is anti-inflammatory. And it go inside your body and it break down all the whole food inside your system. So that is the main thing. But obesity is killing people. And until people realize themselves about what obesity is doing to people in this country, hey, people will just fail away. Too much young people is dying. And you're going to see a pandemic coming in anywhere between the year 2015 onward where you find people been dying between 
23 and 35, especially black people. For black people eat the last part of the food chain, they don't eat right, and most black people now is suffering from, look how much black people now is on kidney dialysis. What happening? Uh, Cephas, uh, a few months ago, we noticed on television that Oprah Winfrey was somewhere down in Texas where she had a frozen butter treat made of uh, about a quarter pound of butter and flour. Uh, what would you say about that uh, in seeing that she had such a large viewership with young kids watching her? When Oprah go ahead and eat that fried butter, that was so disappointed with me. But when I look at her cook, heart. He introduced me to his, and said he was hard. I said, yes, I know why. For if a cook belly is fat, that means him not putting out the, the, the menu he's supposed to put out. But what Oprah needs to do is go on a good diet and drink her aloe vera. She can drink it morning and evening. Especially black people. Diabetes, high blood pressure, rubbish in them body. One thing should they should never eat. They should never eat no pork, no shrimps, no crab, no shell food. And all the fish, they should Google fish and see which fish got mercury in it and try to stay away from it. But Oprah, she can change her life. I see Oprah got, a, I guess Oprah is at least 5'7". Oprah weight at 5'7", she should be at least 118 to 125 pound tops. Yeah, not maybe. what you're doing, not maybe, not what you're doing. Right now, Oprah is going to at least 250 pounds to 245 pounds. She's killing herself. But maybe it's in her genetics too. No, to, not to, no to. genetics. She's storing food. She's not using her small intestine. And people who are not using them small intestine, they're dumping. Then doing like what a bathtub do and not like what a toilet do. If Oprah could move our bowels anywhere between three to four times within a 24 hours period, she can lose all the weight she need. For she would take in away or anybody, not Oprah special, anybody. If you can move your bowels anywhere between three to four times within a 24 hours period, for the average person, eat eight to 10 times within a 24 hours period. But what they do, they use a the restroom every other day or once a day. Where the food going? I tell you, the diabetes uh, was, a, was the biggest reason I started drinking. They said because I was at the point of uh, almost having to take insulin. And a couple of days ago, I went to the doctor, it's gone. When I tell people that I drink it, you know, when I rub it on me, they laugh. They're like, well, yeah, it does all that. You know, so I should stop taking medicine? Like, yeah. There's no reason, why would you want to put a chemical in your body if there's something natural that can do the same thing? But the thing is, we're so, uh, we're so brainwashed to believe that, well, you know, you need chemicals, you need to take a pill. You know, I, I need to buy something at the store that costs a thousand dollars and it's gonna make me tired and things like that. We're so brainwashed, that's how we're raised. We're raised our whole life to believe, no, no, no. When you're sick, you take a pill. When you're sick, you drink some kind of chemical. But you don't need to, it does everything that all those medicines do. You know, if I'm sick, I come here and I, I'll, you know, I'll drink aloe and I'll grab some of his soup. And man, like the next day it's all out. You know, that aloe flushes out your system and you just pee out the sickness, you know?